Hi, now that we've understood the workspace, the hotkeys, we can also go ahead and set our own preferences. So Photoshop gives us the flexibility to choose our own preferences. So let's go ahead. So to set the Photoshop features the way you want it, for Mac users, you go to Photoshop, click on Preferences and change your preferences. And for the Windows, you go to Edit and click on Preferences. The hotkey to change your preference is Control plus K. Before we see actually how it happens to let you know a brief, for instance, uh, uh, Photoshop being a heavy software and you wish that most of your RAM is used only by Photoshop. So you can go ahead in Preferences and change your RAM usage. Also, if you are the one who make a lot of changes and wish to go back to your changes, so you can also change the number of states, of undo states that you would want. Uh, you can also change your brush bristles. So when we get started with Photoshop, we learn lots of features, the cursors, the brushes, so all can be changed and your own personalized preferences can be set in Photoshop. So let's move ahead and see how to set preferences in Photoshop. When we are working in Photoshop, there are some preferences which you may like if you are used to Photoshop or some preferences you can make Photoshop work, work according to your own preferences. Shortcut is Control K or Command A or you go to edit and click on this preferences and you click here you have the preferences so basically you can change this these preferences so you can tell them you want to resize image during that place you want to show these me messages to show or you don't want you manage yourself you want to show recent files workspace when opening a file you can skip transform when placing you want to beep once you're done you can have a beep when you said okay you go to interface change the way it looks you want to change it to black gray like gray, white. I like to keep it with black. You can change your standard default, what you want to want that. You want full screen. When you go to full screen, which full screen you want? You want it black or some other color. And you have so much. You can change the tools. How your tools going to show. The show tips. You want to have your option tools. You want to use a legacy healing algorithm that the old ones they had or the new ones that are available. You want zoom with scroll wheel or you want the animated zoom or you know how you want your cursor you can also decide how many you know your history logs so if talking about the history log how many sessions you wanted to edit and we have the file handling how you want to import it how want to use it image preview you want to always save it which file extension you want the uppercase lowercase it's actually about everything how do you want your rulers how do you want your transparency okay you like this or you want your transparency image to appear like this you want them red you want them blue what on you want and also you can manage your cursor so which way cursor you want the standard or there's some you want for your brush you want a normal brush tip you want a full size brush tip you want a precise standard what all or you want a cross hair so I go for a normal brush tip that's what I like and you can also change the performance so if basically you can come here and change the number of history sizes you want so if you want that you can go back a lot back I would not say just keep it to 50 60 that's okay more than enough you can go back so you want to just remove that you cannot go back then so the undo states you can decide from here you can also let how much you want Photoshop to use your image you can change here so this is what super cool how to change your own preferences the way you like it. and you have I think everything can get changed according to the way you like it I'm just going to cancel because I'm happy with my old preferences. That's it for now. Stay tuned.